that ball. Step back so you don't force the ball downhill. Get your depth now, get 12, get 12. Good, very good. In dealing with Coach Taft, you know, first of all, you're dealing with a wealth of experience and knowledge, not only as a football coach, but as a man. Coach Taft's coached so much offensive football in his career and, and done such a great job everywhere he's been that he's able to see things from a different perspective a lot of times. This is 41 season, so it's been uh, exciting and fun and still have the passion, still have the energy, keeps you young and working with some great young people. And it really doesn't uh, seem like it's been that long since I started, but it has. <laughs> He's a football genius and that that's, that's never shocked me, the amount of knowledge that he has about football. You can't ever win a battle with him if you want to talk about football. He just knows too much. Coach Taz is an offensive genius. I've been around a lot of offensive coordinators who devise different game plans and I've learned so much from, from Coach Taft, you know, the way he does things, the way he structures things, the way he calls plays to set up plays. When you hear the word offensive genius with Coach Taft, I think Coach Taft would be the first one to tell you to shrug his shoulders and say no. I guess over a period of time you, you learn uh, by osmosis, if nothing else, just being around uh, the game as long as I have and been in a lot of different systems and working for a lot of different and with a lot of different coaches, I think uh, sometimes you can't help but learn, you know, just uh, with the exposure. He sees things that a lot of times that some other coaches might not see and sees it from a different light because he does have so much experience. He's great to watch film with. He, he's got corrections for everything. A thing that I really like is, you know, we don't just watch the quarterback position because, you know, playing quarterback, you know, it's kind of your duty to know what everybody else is doing. I know over my experiences, I've always been a lot smarter coach when I had better players so it's about the players and obviously our job as coaches is to get them in the right place get them in the right positions and make sure we have ways to get them the ball well, the one thing's been fun is football like most businesses, there's always a constant state of change going on. So what you try to do, particularly as a veteran coach, is stay current with the trends of what's going on in football and always look for ways to get better. And you know, when you when you don't feel like you can get better or improve, it's probably time to uh, to stop doing it. He's come from a various offensive background. You know, he's run, you know, the veer offense, he's run the spread offense, he's run the pro style offense. So when you put it all together, you know, you don't know what you're going to get, to be honest, but you can rest assured it's going to be sound. We have all these assistant coaches that coach those di various different positions, but he sees a whole picture of everything, all 11. And if one offensive lineman takes the wrong step on a specific play, you know, he'll, he'll kind of call that lineman out. You know, he's very, very analytical on every single play. He knows what he's trying to accomplish on every single play. That's something that I think he does a great job with. He kind of wears two hats as being the offensive coordinator and the quarterback's coach, and he corrects us on what we do wrong, but he also corrects the other positions. You know, kind of goes through what, you know, he thinks as an offensive coordinator should happen and stuff like that. And then on the field, it's the same thing. He doesn't have to just focus on the quarterbacks, but he has to know everything that everyone is doing, the receivers, the H's, the tight ends, the line. It's a lot of work that has to go in would be an offensive coordinator, so I have a lot of respect for Coach Taft. I think Coach uh, John Wooden probably coined it the best. He said, uh, it's what you learn after you know it all that counts. You have to be willing, I think, as a coordinator and as an offensive staff to really every year look at, you know, what are the strengths of our personnel this year and let's make sure we've adapted our offense accordingly and, and let's make sure we're always trying to play to our strengths and not just do something or some concept uh, because we've always done it that way. He can be aggressive when he wants to and he knows how to slow it down. So again, you know, when you're dealing with, uh, with a gentleman like himself, you know, expect the unexpected, but it's going to be successful when he's finished with it. I've had the ability to work with him very close now for six years and learned so many great things from him, not just plays, not just uh, the way to call plays, uh, but organization and you know, d d demeanor and the way to handle kids and the way to handle problems and issues that come up. Uh, I, I would say outside of Coach O'Leary that Charlie's been the biggest influence in my coaching career. It's been refreshing. There are a lot of great new ideas out there. There's a lot of great young coaches and different ways of doing things and moving the football. And uh, so it's been fun for me to try and keep up with it.